It's amazing to me to think that it, it's been 15 years since Jean Benet's death. Mm -hmm. Do you still think about it all the time? Not all the time. No, it. Um, you've got to move on in your life, and every now and then, something stimulates my memory or my thoughts, and um, you go back to it. When she first went missing, how quickly was it that, that you called the police? Oh, immediately. I mean, as soon as we knew she was missing, we, we called the police. When, when did you first realize she, she wasn't where she was supposed well, to be? Well, we were getting up early that morning to, to leave for a trip, and, and uh, Patsy came down stairs and found a, a, a note, a ransom note, and screamed, and, and um, I was upstairs getting dressed and came running down and went to her room. She, of course, she wasn't there, so we, that's when we thought she's gone, and it was a horrible feeling. Uh, yeah, I mean, what goes through your mind? At well, that I think any parent has experienced that kind of gut-wrenching feeling when you've lost your child for a second in the shopping center or the mall, and she's, she or he is not where you thought they would be, and there's this feeling in your stomach that just it feels like you've got kicked by a horse. Yeah. And uh, that's the feeling we had. And uh, Did, did be police well take it seriously immediately? Well, I think so. You know, the first police officer that came to the door said, well, do you think she could have run away? And I said, no, she was six years old. That's ridiculous. I think what a lot of people don't realize is that you actually found her. I did. How did, how did that happen that you were the one searching? Well, they asked, this was later in the, in the morning, they asked me to go through the house and see if I noticed anything unusual. And uh, so we did that and found her pretty quickly. It was a, uh, a relief and, of course, the horror at the same time.